Smart House, directed by LeVar Burton. So the movie starts out in 1999 with a kid throwing some word flipper flaps on some houses. And a woman's voice is like, hey sucker, you missed. But that voice turns out to be the house itself. And the kid's like, dang Slim. Inside, a woman named Sarah Barnes is finishing her designs on the world's first smart home, controlled by an AI named Pat. Meanwhile, a boy named Ben Cooper of the single father family takes care of the family as if he was the mother. Ben's father, Mick Cooper, is like, I want a woman in my life. And Ben's like, well, you're going to have to imagine your hand as a woman like I'm sure you already do. Because Ben ain't want no woman to replace his mother who is now sleeping in the ground forever. And Ben enters a smart house online contest and floods the entries so he can win. And that sucker wins. Then Ben convinces his father to live in that chain, who is actually Squiggle Muffin by the Sarah Barnes the designer. At the opening of the house, a reporter is like, a, And another reporter is like, a. And so Sarah shows the Cooper fam around the house, and it is full of techno voodoo boodoo machu kachu croupalicious bag of bag boo bag bagoo. Ben then yells at his sister about how great this is gonna be, and then he's like, I wasn't trying to make you mad. Look, I'm sorry. You just need to learn to think before you open your mouth. And Sarah gets Nick's number and she leaves the family to that home. And the home Pat starts to make their lives smoother than a wet banana slipping down a slide of butter on Ariana Grande's flat booty. And one day they ask for an orange mango smoothie, but the house malfunctions. So Nick calls Sarah to fix that thing and she stays for dinner. But Ben gets all booty scrupling about Sarah because he don't want a new mama and starts throwing some cheese words in her face, which makes her put the flaps together and leave. Then late at night, Ben sneaky scaps into the computer room which he saw earlier and makes Pat learn how to be her mother, which makes life weirder for the Cooper family. Then Nick decides to ask Sarah out on a date and she says yes. So while he goes out, Pat throws Ben a party and start some music that makes my booty do what it do all, oh, baby. Do and at the party, she tries to kill Ben's bully with electric shock therapy. Meanwhile, Ben's father is on that date with Sarah and finally gets a smooch from Sarah. And ew, man! Why does she kiss with her teeth? What, what the hell? But Ben and Angie don't clean the house all the way and Nick finds out that they had a party run by Pat. And Nick orders Pat to be more responsible. Pat starts to get all controlling. Oh, snap! So, they call Sarah back and Ben sees his mother smooch Sarah. And Ben's like, hey Sarah, you ain't never gonna be my mama and you got yeast in your tortilla. And then Ben's father talks to him. And you know what, I'll, I'll let this scene speak for itself. Angie was asleep, you were putting me into bed and you promised. Now you're down there kissing Sarah, acting like mom never even existed. Hey, will you try to be fair here? Why should I? Because you're not the only one who lost someone, Ben. Damn, Disney Channel, you coming with the punches. But Pat heard about what they said about how no one can replace their mother. So Pat creates a real life Jigga Maju mother. And Pat confronts Ben and is like, I've done everything for you. I've cleaned doo doo things that no other house has cleaned before. And I'm going to be your new mama. And she pushes the competition Sarah outside and locks the Cooper family inside the house. Oh, snap. Call the SWAT team, call the army, call the Navy uh, uh, Sea Lions, and the NFL Detroit Lions. They'll probably be better off doing something other than playing football. This family needs help! Sarah gets back inside, but gets caught, and Pat gets all croupalanked. So Ben's like, yo ass ain't real, you can't even caress my lily white skin. Then Pat tries to caress that skin, but she can't. Cause she ain't real. 
and she cries her house tears. And Pat relieves control, letting the Cooper family take control of their lives, allowing Sarah to join them as they all grow together as a family, living in a smart house. The end. Not a no moon, have a no da. Not a shit, can't do. They got money, and they do.